It was three women in my dream. My camera had cut off, so I have to do a second part. It was three women in my dreams that someone's ancestors made it to. Like they cut cut them. But the mean one was this Queen of Wands. They cut her in the dream. So she's going through some type of ending. When I tell you this girl was running, she was running. And she went ahead under some type of uh, table-like structure. And that man came around. He looked under there. He said, oh, there she is. And they got her. They said, we got to go bring balance in this situation. You, you got to answer for your crimes. You got to answer for your crimes because we're done with this. We told you to let up. Let go. This is not your battle. This is not this has nothing to do with you. This is not your destiny. We we're done. We're done playing with you. Like they just told her, let's go. And the three women were there crying. They were like, no, 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 please don't, please don't take her. And they, them ancestors they didn't care. They did not care. Like they snatched her out the door. They didn't care. So whatever some, I'm telling you, they did not care because this woman has been causing a lot of illusions. Whatever she did, they're, they are holding her responsible. They're like, you got to pay your debt. But she had been doing something, either projecting to someone's energy for a long time and got comfortable doing it. And this was the last time because someone was warned to stop doing that, this was the last time that she was able to project into someone's dream. And them ancestors, they showed up, it was two ancestors, a man and a woman. It's like someone's parents showed up. Whoever you are in the collective, I don't know if you lost both parents or something like that, or you lost a mom or a dad. They showed up looking for this woman. They went looking for her. And your father or whoever that male is, he went around. She was trying to hide under some type of table structure. He looked under there. He said, there she is. And they got. he went and got her from under the table. He didn't even wait for her to get from under the table. He went and got her from under the table and took her away. And her friends were there crying because they knew game over. Three women, three women have been working together behind the scenes, causing illusions manipulations, chaos, conflict, okay? And they thought they were going to keep getting away with it. Someone thought they were just fighting you. They didn't know they were up against a whole bloodline. When I said someone's dad went and snatched that woman, I don't know if it was a dad, a brother, or who, but I know it was an older gentleman, dark complexion, low cut. He went in there and snatched her right from under that table. He said, it's time to go. You're interfering with family business because we're done with this. You're playing with our legacy. You're playing with our le uh, 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 lineage. We don't play around like that. We've warned you and your ancestors to get you in line. They haven't done it, so we're going to get you in line. We're going to get you in line. And someone, she's going through something behind the scenes. She may not talk to people about it, but she's going through something. And she she's going to have a hard time recovering from it. Yeah, honey. Okay? This King of Pentacles, nope. This family, couple, whoever, community, it's not going well for them. Not at all. Whatever actions they've been taking against you, it's not going in their favor. This man is not getting his wish come through. Nothing. When I say nothing, nothing. He's not getting his wish at all. This is what he wished for. He wishes for a family, but he, I don't know if he's done the work to heal. Whatever it is, he's been out here causing illusions. So this could be someone that pretends to be healed, but they're not They're not healed. You may have rejected someone's offer, or they're afraid that you're going to reject their offer. Uh, yeah, honey, please. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Mm, yeah. Okay, someone had a plan to come in and give you some type of, I don't know, commitment, something like that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but I just know someone is going through an ending. And there has been some type of decision made 
that whatever belongs to you is going to be given to you because there's some type of problem going on behind the scenes due to actions these people took, misusing your energy, causing illusions, manipulations, projecting into your energy without your permission, stealing from you, harvesting your energies and things like that. So a decision has been made to leave you alone, to let you be, because it's expensive messing with you. I'm telling you, there's a meeting. Either they had a meeting already or they're going to be having a meeting. They have a whole lot of meetings. A whole lot of meetings. Yeah. Whole lot of meetings. You and someone will be meeting in divine timing. You may. This may be like a friend of yours. Oh, yeah, it's not going well for her. Oh, there's a, oh my gosh. This could be someone you were friends with or someone that said they knew you. Maybe you didn't know them. Whatever this is. She's, a, she's in a fender bender. Some of we have legal issues coming in. Okay. Legal issues coming in. This king of, uh-huh, she has issues coming in. Someone is struggling with finances and things like that. They try to affect your finance, finances and she's going through some type of financial insecurity. Trying to hold on to every penny that she's got. Trying to hold on to someone that's trying to, that, that let her go a long time ago. Desperate out here to hold on to someone. Not getting wish fulfillment. So you can step out there boldly as you want to, but you're not getting what you want. She, she wasn't able to make it to you. She was not able to make it to you. Someone had a whole plan to come towards you and cause you an ending. They said, when I get to her, oh, when I get to her, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. And so I say, you don't have the jurisdiction to be in this person's energy. You don't have the jurisdiction to be in this person's energy. So you can't come around them. Okay? This is like being at level one and you want to go to level seven immediately so you can go cause problems there we don't do problems over here we don't do problems up here them downstairs you all that's your business you do problems down there so someone was trying to climb up the ladder come up to level seven of get in the elevator and go to level seven they don't stay on on the seventh floor but for some reason they were going to get on the seventh floor to do what explore a building? Okay. So she had some choice words for you that she was going to come and give you. And Spirit said, nah, that's above your I'm telling you. Spirit said, Spirit said, that's above your peer grade. That's above your ascension. You're not there yet. You can't come there. Whoo. said, you don't have jurisdiction to be around this person. You're not mature enough. You have some growing up to do. Yeah, you have some work to do. You have some work to do. Once you do that work, then you'll have victory. But until then, you can't be around this person at all. Yeah. Mm. There's some, I don't know what in the world this is. You have a whole lot of people just wanting to come towards you. Some come in with like stories and some want to come in to defend themselves. But honey, you you are being like practical about this situation. You're keeping your distance, standing your ground. I don't know what this is. Someone wants to come in with some type of petty offer because that's all they can give. They've lost a lot of money, but they're trapped in their mind about giving you this offer because they know, you know. You know that Kevin Hart saying that I always use on this channel. You know that I know that you know that I know what the F is up. Someone knows you know. So they see this little offer they're giving you as a solid commitment. But you're like, I don't want that. You can keep it. Because I know what it is you tried to do to me. So you can keep that offer. You can keep that offer. There may be a king of pentacles that don't even have anything to do with this situation. And he's just been healing behind the scenes or something of that nature. 
Yeah, you don't want that shit. You don't want no offer from this person. You're like, I'm good. I'm good. Put your hand. Approach at your own discretion. And if he tries to come closer, he's like, I'm good. All jokes aside, I don't think you are avoiding animosity against these people. I think you just want them to leave you alone so you can be. You can be free to do as you want, as you're destined to do. But this woman here is a queen of pentacles behind the scenes. Going through some type of ending. Her plans, all of her, all of her plans are not going to anything. They're not prospering. Because all of her plans has to do with causing you an ending. And she's the one going through it. Someone who be having some type of health problem. Their mental is unstable right now. Someone may have some type of anxiety issue that's going on as well. And it's out of hand. Someone could be having panic attacks and things like that behind the scenes. Like her mental is unstable. Someone is unstable. She may need to be like placed under like professional help. So that they can make sure that she stays here. If you know what I mean. Because someone's mental is unstable. Her mental is unstable. She's unhappy that this situation is being put to an end. She wants it to be, to keep going. This is how vain this person is. She wants to keep causing illusions. She wants to keep causing conflict, manipulations. And the whole time she's doing it is causing her money. But guess what? It's, you're fine. Source already told you you're going to be okay. They're protecting you. You have a whole new higher level partner that's coming into your life to work with you. Someone wants you to stay single forever because it's easier to harvest your energy when you are single, not knowing that she's been causing herself a whole lot of burden because everything she garnered off of your energy is being taken away from her and everybody else involved. That's how dumb this person is. But she's pissed off because she's older than you. And she's been here longer than you. She's been a high priestess or a higher friend longer than you. So you don't deserve to be where God has destined you to be. That's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. She wants people to see you as unfit. They don't see you as unfit. They see you as genuine. This woman wants people to be trapped in their mind about you. Say, are you sure she's the one? Is that we didn't ask you? We're sure. We know the truth. We know what you've been doing. We were told the truth. We looked into what people have been saying. And apparently it is true. You have been doing stuff behind the scenes. And she's stuck in her mind. Heartbroken. She feels that she was betrayed. You betrayed me. Nobody betrayed you. This is the, She's the puppet master. She's the puppet master. She's been playing everybody like a puppet. Everybody. She looks at them. She says, I can get him to do this. I can get her to do this. Him to do this. Him to do this. Her to do this. I'm going to send uh, uh, Jimmy to her on Sunday so that he can mess with her. I'm going to have Melissa call her on Tuesday to give her some ridiculous message. Fool with her. Tell her something really ridiculous. Since she doesn't work for us anymore, he doesn't work for us anymore. I'm going to have uh, Billy call her on Tuesday and say that he's looking for a job. He's not really looking for a job. And when she asks him questions, he asks him questions. He's going to give the, the most ridiculous answers ever. And then I'm going to temper with the company that she's with and force them to work with me. I'm going to temper with the company that he's with and force them to work with me. And if they refuse... I'm going to destroy their company. You don't want to work with me. I told you, you're going to have to work with me so we can block this person. You don't want to work with me. I have connections. I can destroy your company. Mm -hmm. And then they submit. These kind of people, they feel invincible because they have connections. But the right route is to always get evidence on them. Because this is a narcissist. This is a narcissist. And you provide that evidence. Evidence cannot be refuted. It cannot be refuted. So you take it to the court. Make copies of it. And she don't know what's up ahead of her. It's the, the end. It's the end, darling. It's the end. Your mental is unstable. Someone is going through a lot behind the scenes. Of because she's bitter. 
Yeah, her mental, I'm telling you. I said her mental is unstable. And this car fell out seeing raising thoughts. Someone is stuck in their mind. And that's part of what the Fool of Swords has to do with contemplating, thinking. Right? It said after illness or battle, reclusive, repose, withdrawal, negative, relaxation, knee recuperation, recovery period. This woman is going through something behind the scenes. Something behind the scenes. Heart problems, mind, mental problems, all kinds of problems. And it's nothing money can cure. Money cannot cure what this woman is dealing with. It's called bitterness and hate. Money can't cure that. Okay? Money cannot cure that. All right. Fresh start for you all. The fool in the middle. Yeah. Surrounded by everything, but you're having a brand new start. It said, angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay, okay? Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Dream Weaver. Dreaming and imagining brings your powerful vision into reality. Make miracles. And that is part of how you manifest is by dreaming and imagination, right? And a clean heart, a pure heart. Um, raising thoughts is a focus on what you can do now rather than what is one thing at a time. That's for you, collective and Madame Destiny Blocker. You may want to chill because your heart and your mind shaky, shaky. So your, your health is not where it's supposed to be. So you may want to take time and balance those out before coming for someone else. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.